Hello everyone. Here uh, in this video lecture, what I am going to discuss is uh, how to use uh, gravitational lenses to transmit power from one star to another one. Okay. Means uh, transmission of power between the stars. This can be accomplished though still it is now theoretical. So this can be accomplished by using gravitational lenses. In the study of <coughs> general theory of relativity of Einstein's means Einstein's general theory of relativity uh, you know that uh, gravitational lenses are there means if light passes near the massive objects like our sun means suns or uh, stars or uh, black holes these are massive objects if light passes near the massive objects in that case there is a bending of light okay this bending of light can be used to transmit power from one star to another so there are few steps first what you need to do you have to collect the solar uh, you have to collect the say we are talking about our sun so you have to collect the solar energy from the sun so to do that what is required you have to manufacture a collection unit such as a Dyson sphere later in uh, in another video I will talk about Dyson sphere okay Dyson sphere is nothing but a theoretical mega structure which surrounds a star okay it is capable of surrounding the entire star and it is capable of collecting the energy radiated by that star so first step is the collection of the radiated energy means collection of the radiation from the star then the requirement is gravitational lenses so in between the source star and in between uh, in between the source star and the destination star okay gravitational lenses need to be placed what is the function of that gravitational lens that gravitational lens will focus that gravitational lens would focus the light into a concentrated beam that is that will be the function of the gravitational lenses just focusing the light into a concentrated beam and then what is the what is the requirement and then you need to transmit that focused energy to the destination star and in the destination star there will be one more collection system that will that would be capable of collecting that concentrated energy from the source, source star and then there will be a conversion system a conversion mechanism should be there so that that concentrated energy in the form of light can be converted or can be trans, uh, transformed into a usable form such as electricity so this way uh, from star to star power can be transmitted though still this is theoretical this is highly speculative advanced knowledge of engineering means advanced engineering is required to design and manipulate such a system no doubt there will be many problems associated with this such as loss of power 
because the distance is vast between two stars the distance is vast and in this vast distance there will be huge loss of power during the transmission okay so this is one problem environmental issues are also there that is another problem again designing and manufacturing of those uh, mega structures are really so challenging so it is still theoretical concept maybe one day uh, the dreams of the scientist will be fulfilled anyway so this was all about the concept of here in this video what I am going to do is just uh, give you just I want to give you the concept of how to use gravitational lenses to transmit power from one star to another okay first in summary first is what first is collection of the radiation from the source star then next step means step number two second step is uh, using gravitational lenses you focus the energy into a concentrated light beam third step is transmission of that energy to the destination star and the fourth step is conversion of that concentrated energy into a usable form so this is the concept behind using gravitational lenses to transmit power from one star to another okay so this is the end of this video if you like this video please uh, try to subscribe to my channel okay anyway thank you thank you for watching this video